YouTube channel, right? Yes, it is. Now that I got my camera back from Jocks, I'm excited to say that today we are doing another full day of eating. Today we are doing Beatrice Caruso. I hope I said that right with my wonderful French accent. So, just an FYI, Beatrice does maintenance week and calorie deficit weeks. For the purpose of this video, I decided to do the calorie deficit. She eats about 1500 calories a day, which is gonna be perfect for me. That's about what I eat normally. Also, the menu that like, she has looked absolutely delicious. I am really excited about it. So I hope you're ready for a full day of eating of Beatrice Caruso keto version. For breakfast, Beatrice has breaded chicken, waffles and some fruits so um i looked at what she uses and i'm gonna show you what i have um, like she does i have some chicken and of course jocks is back then for the waffle she has a waffle mix uh you can actually find waffle mix uh, keto waffle mix, but I personally don't have any. I heard most of them are not that great. Also, they are really expensive. So I'm going to be making my own. Uh, for this, I have coconut flour, sweetener, mozzarella cheese, vanilla extract, sugar-free chocolate, and finally some eggs. Uh, for a waffle, Beatrice does use some syrup. Um, this one is five calories per serving. Uh, it tastes super good, I love it. Highly recommend, uh, very good. So I'm gonna be using that. For the breaded chicken, I'm actually gonna be using an extra egg with some almond flour. In, I believe she uses like crackers, but we'll be using almond flour. And finally, in a waffle mix, she does put oil. I'm not gonna put any oil in my waffle, but I am gonna use some butter to cook my chicken. And on top of that, uh, I, she has some kind of fruit. And because I absolutely love raspberry and that they are super keto friendly, that's what I'm gonna have with it. So I am now working on my shuffle. I already have one egg ready to go and I'm gonna be adding a teaspoon only of coconut flour. When that is done, I'm simply gonna add about a teaspoon of sweetener, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of mozzarella cheese. I know, if you're not keto, that probably sounds very weird to you, but it actually turns out pretty good. I've done those, wash, those waffles before. So I know you actually don't taste the mozzarella. To end our preparation for our shuffle, we just need two tablespoons of chocolate chip. Now we are gonna mix it all together and that'll pretty much be ready. This is how it looks right now. It's pretty well mixed, so Time to get the shuffle cooking. Beatrice has a really nice and kind of funny like waffle maker. I don't have anything that fancy. I just have a mini waffle maker. Honestly, it's not the greatest, but it works just fine. I just plugged it in, so I'm gonna let it heat up. And close it down. It does cook pretty fast. I don't know if you can see, but it's smoking right now. So I'm just gonna check it out. Okay, so it's almost done. Let's give it like a few more seconds and we'll be good. This is a final product with our waffles. I ended up with like two regular mini and half of a mini, but I mean, it's, it's probably gonna be plenty. It's very filling, uh, considering that there is quite a bit of cheese in it. So that, I'm looking forward to testing this. Now for our chicken, I have about 50 grams of chicken that I like cut into decent pieces, two tablespoons of almond flour for the, bread, for the breading, and an egg. It's about one tablespoon of butter uh, that I'm heating up right now. Our butter is almost good, so I'm lowering the heat a little bit and I'm gonna start breading the chicken.
And our chicken is getting done. I use all of the almond flour, like the two full tablespoons. However, I still have plenty of eggs, even if I only used one. So this is going to be for you know who, for dinner tonight. Now I am going to be using some seasoning on my chicken. Uh, I'm going to start with my favorite ever, garlic powder. So that's one. Just as important as garlic powder, I'm going to throw in some salt and we will end with some pepper. And this is how breakfast looks. I am super excited to be eating this. To be honest, it smells delicious. It looks delicious. Um, the only thing I'm missing, I'll be adding some sugar-free syrup on my waffles. And Beatrice doesn't do that, but I am going to do it. Um, I'm going to be eating my chicken with that banana pepper sauce. Um, it's only five calories and less than a gram of carb per serving and it's delicious and I think it's going to go really well with that chicken. I'm going to try the chicken by itself first because I really want to see how it turned out. It's the first time I do body chicken. Uh, I've, ne I've never done it before, keto or not, so I've been trying a lot of new things recently. Chicken by itself is delicious. Um, I'll definitely try that again because it's super, super good. Now I'm going to try with some sauce. Just a little bit, just to make sure it tastes good. I might prefer it by itself, so I didn't want to use too much and then have to throw it away. Okay, here it is with a little bit of sauce. It's really good. It's a little bit spicy and... Um, it goes really well with the chicken. So I am done with breakfast. It was absolutely delicious. I finished my entire plate. Uh, I am going to post all of the ingredients that I used and all the quantities as well. Beatrice, I believe we were pretty close uh, overall, except obviously for, uh, you know, carbs content. But other than that, uh, I mean, again, delicious, highly enjoyed it and we'll definitely make it again. We are now back for lunch and so for lunch Beatrice has something that looks absolutely delicious. She has a kind of breakfast with like English muffin and a bunch of yummy things inside. So here is what I have to get that recipe going. Some spinach. Some more eggs because I didn't have enough over the last few days. Of course I also have some garlic powder and salt as she uses herself an avocado a tomato an orange bell pepper in her recipe she uses a small one uh, I have this one so we'll do with it I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the exact same and one of my favorite veggies ever she uses some uh, mushroom as uh, she for hers already sliced i didn't have this chance but i mean it's not a big deal i can slice mushroom so it will be good and finally she uses some english muffin i don't have english muffin but i have some keto bread and i'll be shaping them like english muffin to make it look like it is an english muffin beatrice also has some chips with her lunch obviously i'm not gonna have chips but i'm gonna have something similar and they are the Parm crisp. Uh, it's made with parmesan. It's pretty much all cheese. Uh, it's really good. I really like it. They also make it with cheddar cheese. Um, a great option if you want something kind of crunchy and a little bit different. Now the downside is like those are way more expensive than regular chips. But it's a nice treat once in a while. I enjoy it. So that should be very delicious. It's very simple. It shouldn't take me long to make, which is perfect because I'm feeling just a little bit hungry. So by the time it's ready, I'll be good to eat. So here I have about a half a cup of chopped spinach, one egg. I'm going to throw them both together, mix it all, add some salt, and of course add some garlic powder. And that will be good for or egg base. Here is my mix. I'm gonna put like I'm gonna put a little bit um, too much spinach for one egg. But I mean, spinach is supposed to reduce when you cook it, so we'll see how it comes out. Uh, hers 
I don't think hers look like that, so that's gonna be a surprise. But I mean, it just spinach is not the end of the day. I'm sure it'll still be just fine. So here I have half an avocado, about 10 grams of onion, 20 grams of tomato, and 20 grams of orange bell pepper. This is gonna be making our guacamole exactly like Beatrice does it. I just chopped everything as small as I could. I just have to uh, mash the avocado and mix it all. I have to say I usually don't make my own guacamole. Uh, usually I use those little packages right here. You just have to throw an, uh, an avocado in it and mix it and honestly it tastes great. Um, so that's pretty much gonna be I'm not gonna say I've never made guacamole myself, but it's definitely not something I do every day. This is a finished product. Everything is mixed for the guacamole, and I simply added a little bit of salt and pepper to give it a little bit of extra taste, but um, that actually doesn't look too bad. To make some English muffin, I simply used my keto bread and this cup, and that about what it made. Um, so that do the trick, it's gonna, I think it's gonna look fine. And here is how it looks. The other one is already done. So that's gonna make our little English muffins. So now I'm gonna cook my eggs and spinach and then I'm gonna do some mushroom. I did big slices like her. It doesn't look as pretty, but to be fair, I cut them myself. And I have about 25 grams right here. Some cooking spray and we'll throw the eggs in. Right now it looks like that. I try to make it as round as possible and also as small because my uh, English muffins are really not that big. Um, but it's been kind of hard with the spinach so I hope it kind of like reduces a bit and maybe I'll try folding it or something like that. We'll see. Almost done. It's gonna be time for the mushrooms. So the mushrooms are getting done and very soon the only thing I'm gonna have left to do is actually toss my little English muffin and then try somehow to put everything together. And this is how my lunch looks. Uh, those are my little palm scripts. Here I have some eggs and uh, leftover eggs with some leftover guacamole and my little sandwich uh, with my egg spinach, guacamole and right here we have the mushroom. Um, it smells delicious and it's all food that I love. So that I'm for sure gonna eat it all. I'm definitely not gonna try this sandwich with my hands. <laughs> that doesn't be very useful, otherwise I'm gonna make a huge mess, so let's try. I'm done with lunch. It was super, super good. I ate pretty much everything. What I ended up doing actually was to use the palm crisp with the palm crisp with the rest of the guac. Uh, it ended up working great and it was delicious. I am full. I'm very satisfied and I will see you guys back for dinner. Back for dinner and Beatrice made me super happy because for dinner she actually has a small like snack plate. She calls it a charcuterie plate. It is not a charcuterie plate but it is definitely a snack plate and I love those kind of dinner. I have them quite often myself uh, so it's gonna be light, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy and let's see what we have. For dinner on a little snack plate, she has sharp cheddar cheese, some strawberry, and then she also has some crackers. I replace the crackers with some almond. I'm sure you saw in my background, I have a lot of almonds. Uh, I love them. I always get those kind, like um, a bunch of different flavors. It's a great snack for me, so I'm gonna use those. And then she uses another kind of fruit um, to make it a little bit more keto and also to make it a little bit more like an actual charcuterie plate. I'm gonna be using uh, some prosciutto. So that's gonna be my snack plate for tonight. 
So this is my snack plate. I use about a serving, like I think it's an ounce of uh, sharp cheddar, uh, five strawberries, about half a serving, uh, a little bit over half a serving of nuts, uh, habanero barbecue nuts, and one slice of prosciutto. Uh, the only thing that I personally wouldn't use that cheese, if it was up to me, I would use some kind of other cheese, like an actual, like, cheese like I usually buy from Trader Joe if you've seen uh, in one of my previous video but I mean it looks just fine I think it's gonna be very filling and more than enough to keep me going for the rest of the evening and until tomorrow Dinner was really good. I am gonna be posting everything that I used and how much of what I used. Uh, I mean, it was pretty simple, like really, it is a snack plate. Uh, very good, I really enjoyed it. And now Beatrice actually has some dessert, so I'm gonna go get mine. For dessert, Beatrice has some kind of like Mexican candy. Uh, I've tried them. I I personally don't like them and on top of that they are not keto so instead of what she's having I'm simply gonna have this uh, I absolutely love those they are definitely not the real uh, peanut butter Reese cup but they are pretty good and it's about 90 calories so that's what I'm gonna have to end my day with a sweet treat like she does and like I also usually do myself regardless so I am done with my day. Um, it was a lot of fun eating as Beatrice. She has very yummy, very tasty food. It's super filling. Uh, I mean, low calories. I think I ended up my day with about like 1400 or something like that. It was also totally keto friendly. At least I was able to make it work. So a lot of fun. I will definitely keep checking out her recipes when she comes up with, when she comes out with more. Now, as I was actually recording this video, Beatrice came out with a video saying she wasn't doing uh, very well at the moment following an injury that kept her from exercising and falling off the wagon regarding her diet. Um, it's really, really hard to always be on track. I yo yo dieted for about five years, more or less. I hope she gets back on track. Again, I really enjoy her channel. She's a lot of fun. And before her fallback, she seemed to, to be doing really, really well. So hopefully she's back very soon with some more amazing content. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Some more content will be coming out soon.